Thank you, Madam Chair. Mr. Commissioner, dear colleagues, the transparency of measures regulating the pricing and reimbursement of medicinal products in the Union are based today on a directive which is almost 25 years old, and the Commission has rightly identified loopholes and delays to be addressed. The pharmaceutical market has significantly evolved since 1989, so did patients' needs. While at the same time the financial sustainability of national healthcare systems has been put under greater pressure with the combined effect of the economic crisis and the aging of our population, and we just have spoken about that. I would like to thank you, Mr. Commissioner, as well as your hardworking services for having presented this legislative proposal and for maintaining a constant dialogue among institutions on this dossier. It was firstly essential and fully relevant to include in this proposal the main conclusion from the 2007 pharmaceutical sector inquiry led by DG Competition. Furthermore, identify delays for the pricing and reimbursement of medicines, which can sometimes reach more than 700 days, are not acceptable. I'm convinced that fair practices in our pharmaceutical market would also be beneficial to patients and national healthcare systems. The European Parliament has demonstrated its willingness to play an active role in the drawing up of this legislation with a report strongly supported by ENVI Committee last December. We have also heard the concerns raised by several stakeholders, including national delegations within the Council, and we are pressing significant changes uh, and presenting changes to the initial proposal in which some provisions such as the pre-notification of draft national measures or the remedies procedures did not appear as proportionate to the objective pursued. Our objective has been strike, uh, to strike a balance between the need to set up common transparency and procedure requirements while guaranteeing legal certainty and flexibility for competent national authorities and with one principle in mind, accessibility and affordability of medicine for all. We therefore call for clear timelines for the pricing and reimbursement of innovative products together with the opportunity to use health technology assessment. Two other key elements for the financial sustainability of national healthcare systems are the shortened timelines for generic medicines and the non-interference of intellectual property rights with pricing and reimbursement procedures. New provisions have also been introduced by the European Parliament for more transparency in the decision-making process, with the requirement to publish the names and declarations of interest of experts as well as an annual list of set uh, of prices per product. I know that discussions within the Council are more than difficult and I would like to take this opportunity to reiterate our willingness to engage in a constructive way and to come up with an optimal proposal which could ultimately bring significant progress for the efficiency of national healthcare systems. Of course, Member States are and should remain fully responsible in defining the prices and reimbursement of medicines, but this does not contradict with the necessity of setting transparent and fair rules on how these decisions are being taken, since they will have an impact on both the functioning of the internal market and the accessibility and availability of treatment for patients. I would like to conclude by thanking all colleagues, and in particular the shadow rapporteurs, for the fruitful cooperation, and let me also thank the Commission as well as the Cypriot and the Irish presidencies for their hard work, which I hope will deliver in the future of the benefits of all. And thank you very much for the attention. I will be very keen to hear this debate and to listen it uh, uh, and to be able to include it further.